up into the top 10, top five, currently running fourth. He's talking about running with Jason White. He says, get outside. Here I come. They're dead even right now for the lead. Here comes Todd Bodine on the outside, too, making it three wide back there, about six rows back of two by two. But side by side, coming out of oh, trouble. Two, around goes the 32 and hard into the wall. Miguel Paluto hard into the wall coming out of turn number four. Very reminiscent of Danica's accident in the duel. Caution comes out for the fifth time. Miguel Paluto running in the top three. Slides coming out of turn number four and then a head in collision with the inside wall and what a great sign to see that window net go down as the safety crew will get to him immediately. Mm. Wonder if he got a little bit of nudge from behind from his teammate James Busher. Everyone was trying so hard on the inside to keep that outside line from coming. Let's see if we see any contact here. He's the second car on the ins or second truck on the inside line. Wow, maybe he let off the, maybe he made an evasive like action there because of PK Jr. Wow, Look at what, the a, violence. what an impact. How, how violent that was. That truck weighs 3,500, 3,700 pounds and it flies up in the air like that and catches on fire and yet. And we I, saw how quickly Miguel Paluto had put the window net down, was taking his helmet off. Amazing. I think he got in the back of Nelson PK Jr. And when it did, when he did, that slowed his momentum, and that's I think James Busher got into him. Watch this now. Look. It's hard to see. You can see right there. You could see you could see PK get a little bit sideways. That's real time speed right there. But I don't I don't know if those trucks make high. I know PK got sideways and then all of a sudden Pluto gets sideways and these trucks handle well enough. It's hard to understand how this could have happened. Watch how close now Pluto gets to PK. I think he just made a, I think the leader just got loose and, and Paluto just made an evasive, a, a bit of a quick move and he lost his truck maybe. I, th I think there was, I think there was contact. Let's see. Riding along with Ron Hornaday now. Watch, watch the leader get sideways. You're right. I don't think there was any contact nah. he, he, from front or behind. And I think Miguel just said, oh, no, where's he going? And you remember earlier when Polly Haraka right there off turn four where the track flattens out. You're going very fast there. The banking goes away and the trucks are light there. The back end is light. He makes a move because he sees his teammate a little bit sideways and into the inside wall he goes. That truck spins 360 degrees in the air before coming back down on its wheels. And how about this? Miguel Paluto climbing out of that truck and will walk, wave to the fans, walk to the ambulance after such an amazingly hard hit to the inside wall. Makes you want to go hug NASCAR, Tony George, whoever.